Hi people, this is Angel from PRDV Entertainment and I got good news to you guys. SteamOS, the beta, has been released on January uh, 8th of this year and I can say that uh, the beta right now uh, doesn't work too good. It's not that good, let's say it like that. It's another Linux with the Steam uh, software installed on that system. So it's eventually the same thing as using Windows with Steam or Ubuntu with Steam or other OS with Steam. It's the same thing. It just loads another Linux uh, operating system and then it opens the Steam software. But anyways, uh, a lot of people say that the performance are really good. So I hope that is true. For now, I have uh, downloaded the Steam, but I haven't installed the Steam yet. And I'm going to test it on my new living room machine that I just built up uh, two months ago that has a uh, mini ITX motherboard uh, it's an ASUS has 8 gigabytes of RAM it has a core i5 and a uh, Radeon HD 6870 for the graphics so I'm gonna test it on that machine as soon as I make a bootable disk or something with the uh, Steam OS ISO so, okay, so let's get to the point here. You want to download the Steam. First of all, just search on Google Steam uh, Space OS and you'll have four links here. Go to the one that says Steam Beta. As you can see on the link here, it says store.steampower.com slash Steam OS slash download. Just click on that link there on that result and you'll have the Steam website on your browser. Now here, just agree uh, clicking on the checkbox and click on download so you can start downloading steam ah uh, now that sucks they have made a link that doesn't work why is that because maybe they're trying to work something out that maybe is wrong and they don't want people to download the software and it's still if you still want to download it you just sim uh, simply just erase the name of this file here on the web address and just hit enter yes and we have the files right here and we have two files is the steam os image dot zip and the steam os installer now i prefer the image because i can just make a bootable dvd or maybe put on the on a flash drive or something so i'm gonna download the iso to my uh, machine I have downloaded the ISO on the laptop but I'm not uh, okay maybe I'll just pass it. it will be a lot faster anyway so just click on that save the file and remember after uh, installing Steam OS on your computer remember to make a backup because I think it doesn't have a partition manager on the installer and I think it will erase all the hard drives just because it says so on the website uh, there's a part on Steam on the website that says that you need to make a backup of everything because it will erase all content that it has on the computer. So all content, I mean, maybe it could be all the drives. So make a backup and take your uh, backup drive, uh, unplug it from the computer when you start to install the Steam. Now, so what is the Steam? Uh, how does it look like? just the same thing as the big picture yeah it sucks huh now the big picture looks really nice like always but I was suspecting something more than this uh, if they if they were gonna make a steam OS they were supposed to make something like way much better than this and it has the same menus and everything like I don't really understand why they made uh, steam OS uh, if they are not uh, gonna change anything at all it's the same thing the same features the same screen and that the other thing I don't like about it is that it's a Linux uh, system and it's not because it's Linux it's that it's a Linux OS the Linux uh, boots up when you start your computer when you power on your computer and after booting Linux the software just starts and it's the same thing like in Windows and Ubuntu that you just open the Steam and you can put the big picture out, uh, automatically to start when you open the Steam and blah blah blah. So 
it's not really like an OS. It's just another Linux distro with a Steam on it. So it's not that fancy. So it's really, really, really disappointing because I thought Steam OS was going to be like maybe the big picture, but maybe on the options here, like maybe on the settings that you could. Uh, maybe I thought that you were ha uh, you were going to have the options to install drivers, to play around, to set up printers, have your own browser right there on the Steam OS and still on um, the big picture and i know the big picture has a browser but mm, they didn't put uh put that on the os i don't i don't know i don't know they had a lot of things that they could do uh with this uh software being like this like a big picture on your screen the only thing that they had to make on the system is that everything had to work with the big picture and not having an OS like any ordinary OS like Linux, Ubuntu, Windows, or whatever OS uh, you may have, like Mac or someone uh, or other OS. So they they just should uh, put everything right here on the big picture, but they didn't. So kind of sucks. Uh, the performance is really good, as I heard. And also the PS3 controller uh, works perfectly here. You do not have to install drivers on the Steam OS so to work uh, to make the controller work. And for the 360 controller, I'm not sure. I haven't uh, seen yet any comments or something about that. So I'll think I'll test it today. And I'm gonna install that like right now I'm just going to my laptop I'm just gonna make a flash drive and I'm gonna install it on my game breaker my game breaker is my uh, last computer that I built up the, in the living room the, the uh, one I was talking about at first in this video I just uh, named it the game breaker uh, I was gonna it was gonna be console breaker just to make fun uh, of the consoles but I'm just gonna leave it right there uh, so I'm just gonna call it Game Breaker, and that's it. I will upload a video with that computer, so you can see exactly how it looks like. And another thing is that I made some, uh, you know, like attachments and things to it. I made a couple of tweaks on the computer. I put a Xbox receiver, controller receiver, uh, right in the case of the computer, so you can just synchronize with your gamepad, touching a button right there on the computer on the case and it doesn't look like the receiver it just saw uh, it's it looks just like another button from the same case so it looks perfectly nice uh, the computer it cost me like one thousand dollars something like that maybe one three hundred i don't remember how much it cost but it was over one um so uh i will show you guys later on that uh, computer so now hope you guys download the steam play around if anything just comment right here because we need to know what is going on what are the glitches and the errors that it has and how we can work with those errors now see you guys later this is angel from prdv entertainment giving you the best news of the day bye bye